it was nine years ago when I decided I'm going to rip down my old garage and build an entirely new building dedicated to aquarium. Finally, four years ago, we made it happen. And it was like five years ago, I started talking about dwarf caimans and well, you know, I'm still gonna leave that open for an idea. Potentially I'll build a large habitat for them or something along those lines. If I ever build a massive fish house, uh, I would definitely incorporate a large portion of it to having at least one of these guys. You know, just a couple examples of things that have been in the works and things that I had been planning and things that have been on my mind and upgrading to an entirely new building that's five times bigger with permanent aquatic installations as well as being open to the public eventually is something, well, we're doing now. Let's go have a look at what we're working with. <laughs> so for those that don't know, oh, calm down, Joey. For those that don't know, we're taking the existing aquarium gallery. You guys know it's been running for four years. We're moving it to a place five times bigger, installing permanent aquariums so we can watch them from day one till, you know, year six type of deal. Oh, and we're gonna open it to the public. Pretty awesome, right? Today I wanna give you guys a tour of the new facility. So this is the outside of the building. I figured we'd start here and kind of show you guys everything. Uh, from these windows over is mine, and then all the way to the back, and then there's actually some more um, outcrops and stuff that you'll be able to see. Now this used to be a bank, uh, so right behind the truck there, this little outcrop, that's the vault. I thought I was gonna get that, and that would have been so cool. We would have talked about that. Anyways, I got the keys a few days early, um, and I'm able to get in here and do some cleaning and uh, get ready to start painting, so. Mind you, lots of damages in here that need to be fixed up. And this used to be a gym, so it's kind of laid out like one, sort of. Come in, false walls, 20 foot high ceilings, or uh, they might be closer to like 18 feet, something like that. I don't know, I'll have to measure them. Um, this is kind of like a reception area. I don't know for sure what we'll be doing here, um, but I do think that that big 3D sign in the uh, podcast studio that is in there right now will probably go on this wall. I was thinking about putting a tank in the wall, but I probably won't. Maybe um, just some chairs or something, a table or something. We'll go onto that side in a second. So you walk in, wheelchair accessible, which is kind of cool. Um, you walk in through the front, uh, and the floors are that sponge. So nice little cushion to your walk brightly lit in here lots of windows as you can see here these two well not lots but then those windows go all the way up so it is kind of like brightly lit uh, i was kind of worried about lighting this space and heating this space it's actually not going to be too bad okay so we walk in and we'll circle back don't worry when we walk in uh, that's just the electrical panel over here these mirrors got to come down today i've already been in here sweeping and mopping and wiping things down cleaning the bathrooms taking down all the past branding but as you can see like if we look at the wall it's just a bunch of stuff like this that I gotta repair today before I can, you know, get to the painting. But, uh, let me see. So, I don't know where aquariums will be placed for sure. I did have to give a structural engineer the gen generic plans, and we kind of went in the basement and figured out where all the steel beams are and whatnot. For example, you see this outcrop here? That's a steel beam. That's gotta be at least three feet wide. It's, a, it's an H beam. Another one there. Um, so this place is uh, approved and signed off by a structural engineer for the tank placements like the 700 gallon for example is going to go right here So as soon as you walk in 700 gallon stingrays, this wall will be lined with tanks that come out uh, 1 880 gallons, etc. Again, we'll have to go over placement here soon. I just want to give you guys a generic uh, idea so in total this place is about 2,500 square feet uh, but I think it's closer to 3,000. I did take some measurements. Isn't that cool? That goes up into the offices. Wait, 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 wait till we get everywhere. Um, I get excited every time I come in here, and I've been in here three or four times now. But uh, yeah, so like stuff like that, I gotta fix. Um, on the other side of this little outcrop is stairs. If you go outside, there's a door. Well, that used to be a door there, um, but it goes down into uh, the basement. I don't have access to that. This here, Look how thick this wall is. So I think this might have been a safe at one point. Like, this isn't a small wall. This has got to be two and a half feet wide. Um, brick. So it could have possibly been um, something. The acoustics in here, as you can hear, are a lot different. 
than when we go out here. Pretty cool, isn't it? Anyways, in here, this will be the aquatic reptile room. We're gonna have two massive cages in here that are like 10 feet by eight feet by seven feet tall. Um, we'll have Asian water monitors here and dwarf caimans in the back. This room is 22 feet long by 11 feet wide. Uh, it's definitely going to, it's perfect for uh, those animals. So there'll be three dwarf caimans and two Asian water monitors, which is the initial plan. But I have to get all of this set up and everything installed before we can actually import uh, the animals. Because, you know, I got to get permits and prove that, uh, you know, the very, I got to meet the various requirements and whatnot. But uh, today I'm going to paint this room. It's going to go gray which would be cool. Uh, I gotta remove all these mirrors because the tanks are gonna go up against them. And I know like mirrors will make a space look bigger, but uh, I don't need those mirrors right now. I'm, I'll save them, maybe we'll put them somewhere else or, you know, as uh, some of the members only on this channel said, you should put them above your bed because they got a tour of this a couple days ago. But uh, no, it's not, the mirrors are not going above my bed. Sick bastards. Uh, oh, this is cool. I have loading bay doors. Both those doors open, a transfer truck can back into it. It's got bumpers out there, so super cool. Um, we'll do the entire flo floor now. So that's the front entrance. Oh, Tamara, is that you? It's me. Well, it has to be you. It could only be, <laughs> it could only technically be you. Um, so when we go around this wall here, you have this door that goes into this little area. Now, I'm not positive on what this will be, but it might be for the 120s. And this is a cool little spot. And again, there's the reception area type of deal. Again, guys, I'm just in here making sure that it's all cleaned up and painted. And, um, and as soon as we get that done, I'm going to start with the actual planning out process. So I'm going to tape off the floor where I want things to be. I got to paint over these like ladder things. I think they were like doing hopscotch or whatever they do. Um, around this corner here, look how tall that is. Okay, and then you can go up there and see down the, uh, from the offices. So cool. This is such a cool layout, isn't it? It's actually really, really big too. And the best part about this is I'm not packing it full of tanks. There's going to be a lot of aquariums in here and whatnot. Um, but they'll all be meaningful and I want to have like activity areas too. And I'll explain that in a later video, what I kind of mean. But to give you an idea, I'm probably going to set up something where there's scaping boxes. So there'll be su substrate and rocks and wood and people can, you know, kind of uh, practice and scape with their own selves, um, get inspired and whatnot. Okay, I'll take you back here. Yeah, this is, this is insane. So 700 gallon, 375, 1080s, all the 120s, 40 gallons. That room down there is the reptile room have a little pond in there and stuff for the crocodiles and whatnot, but... Okay, so this is... I hate any bathroom with a light switch behind the door. God, that annoys me. So this the, was the female's bathroom. Um, so they've got a shower. Again, this used to be a gym, so it's outfitted like one. A couple of toilets, sinks. Uh, I don't think this will be available to anybody. I'm not even going to use it. We'll probably use it for water storage and whatnot. This is the bathroom that uh, will kind of be public and be used. It was the handicapped bathroom. I need to put up a mirror, but uh, plenty of space in here. Toilet, uh, sink, shower. I don't hate the colors in here. Um, I believe that the colors of the walls are going to stay the same color. I just need to paint. I need to, uh, you know, drywall all these holes and um, patches and whatnot, but uh, it'll stay mostly the same colors besides a few rooms because there's no way I'm painting this whole thing. I'll, I'll, I'll be a month of just painting. I got stuff to do. Um, then this bathroom. So this was the male's bathroom. And we'll have a urinal and a toilet, a couple of showers, sink, mirror, you name it. Let's go check upstairs. So yeah, these were huge benefits having something like this, like all these, I don't need all of these, but it's cool to have a shower or, you know, those late nights where I don't know if I can get home on time. I might as well just spend the night in the gallery. I got to paint these doors too. They're a little dirty. Um, storage closet. I just put my cleaning supplies in there. Like I said, I've been already been in here cleaning and whatnot. Um, yeah, little damages like this. They're not a big deal. I just hate drywalling and doing patchwork and stuff. But I mean, this is like literally the worst. And all I'm going to do 
is um, I'm probably just gonna take a piece of uh, whatchamacallit, drywall, and just put it right over top of it, just like it is now. Paint it, it'll be fine. It's not that big of a deal. I'm pretty sure something's gonna go there anyways. Also, this all big, huge alcove, I don't know what it could be for, and I'll have to see what kind of structure is up top. Here, I'll put you guys up there. But it's wood, so I was thinking like, oh, and one of the things, this is going to be like, I want massive boulders, like fake boulders and big trees and bushes and everything throughout here. Cause I kind of want to have like, like, um, like jungle music playing type thing, like jungle sounds or something. I don't know. We'll see. Cool stairs. I might paint them black because mostly all the equipment in here is going to be black. But this is, uh, well, don't make fun of me. I am painting this room and I hope to be able to get it done today, but this is going to be the podcast studio room. And I'm for you. And it's currently pink. So, I don't know. <laughs> it's definitely going to be painted. It's going to go gray. Um, little wall or a little window there. But, uh, yeah, pretty cool. Ambient lighting. Um, so this is really cool. Watch this. So you come to the stairs and you can see everything. I think this used to be like a hot yoga, hot yoga area based on the how the electricals uh, labeled, but it's all insulated and stuff. So some people were in the members only were saying to rip this part down, but I don't think I want to do that. I don't know what I want to do with that area just yet, but I'm pretty much can do anything in here that I want, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I love, I love this. I love looking over. It's super cool. Security systems and stuff get installed Monday. There's so much to, to think about and do. Oh, this is kind of cool. If you're scared of heights, close your eyes. Ugh, I'm, I'm terrified of heights, so this kind of sucks. I won't be over here much. But I do like the open concept, open area type of deal. And then this is my main office. Again, I'll be painting it and whatnot, but uh, it's actually a pretty good space. It's weird that the only place my voice echoes is in the reptile area. So that's different. I think in here, like a lot of people are like, hey, Joey, you should have like a mini fridge and a uh, microwave, blah, blah, blah. Oh, of course I will. <laughs> yeah, so I can't get enough of this. I love overlooking all of this stuff. Yeah, super, super cool. See everything. It's surprising that uh, don't echo in here. I think it's because of the type of ceiling and the floors are all padded and stuff. So it's almost like it's already been soundproofed and whatnot. What else haven't we seen yet? Yeah, well, that's it, guys. Super cool, eh? I got a busy day ahead of me. I got to get these mirrors down, patch the walls. That's the task today. Yesterday I was in here cleaning, me and Tamara. So today, remove the mirrors. Maybe use them for something else. Who knows? Um, but I want to remove these mirrors, patch all the walls, and paint the reptile room as well as the two offices and what else? Oh, and probably paint the doors and just try to get as much as I can done. Uh, and then the main job is, of course, painting all of this. But I'm not painting all the way to the ceiling. I'm just painting where it needs to be because I'm going to get the paint matched. So, yeah, it's, it, there's not that much work to do. It's just wear and tear over the years. And this place has been empty for a couple of years. But, yeah, what do you guys think? Isn't this insane? This is going to be so cool. Yeah. So, I know many of you guys want the exact plans and what's going here and what's going there and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I don't know just yet. I know that we're in here. I know all of the stuff we have to do and get done. Um, as for tank placement and opening days and there's so many questions. I don't know. I'm not, uh, when you tackle a project as big as this or as big as the original gallery by yourself, a lot of times, most people in the comments will be like, Joey, this is so much work. I don't know how you're going to do it. And you can't look at it that way. I can't look at it like this has to be filled with aquariums and super awesome and everybody's got to love it. And it's got to be super inspiring and educational. I don't look at it like that. I look at it like today I need to remove the mirrors. Um, today I got to do some patchwork. Tomorrow, you know, match the paint, start painting the rest of the room. Um, it's always small increments like... Without these stairs, for example, if these stairs weren't there, I wouldn't be able to get to the top, which is the final destination. So I have to take each and every step. And that's kind of what I do in here, or with anything, is that's the final goal. But in order to get there, I have to set 
tiny little goals and tiny little tasks. Now, the average person that's never really kind of tackled this only sees this massive jump and they don't, oh, I could never do that. I don't know how I would ever get there. But now if I bring you through every step that I'm going to be doing, which is so simple and so uh, easy to do, I know many people could do it. We now have steps to get to the top and it's, it's not that difficult. Hope that makes sense to you guys. Like if you ever have goals or anything in really in life is that you have to set tiny little increments with uh, a beginning and an end, like tiny little goals and accomplishments. It keeps you motivated, but it gets you closer and closer to the end goal. Anyways, we got a lot to work to do. <laughs> Maybe at some point I'll shave and take a little bit better care of myself. Maybe tomorrow I'll wear something better than a uh, nice, <laughs> my little bum. <laughs> They're probably like, who are the homeless people moving in next door? Anyways, guys, that is it. If you guys want to come along for the journey of the new aquarium galleries make sure you subscribed if you're not already i can assure you you're not going to want to miss out on these things um, i will try to bring you through a step by step as much as i can as soon as i get internet and security systems installed in a day um, i think it's supposed to be tomorrow or the next day i'm going to be able to be uploading like every day or every other day because i'll have my computer here and i'll be able to actually do things but for now it's uh, probably going to be a little sporadic as i do like the grunt work that i know like a lot of people don't necessarily want to see i'll show you before and afters and stuff but for the most part, uh, focuses today is just getting the walls ready to paint them. I'll see you guys in the next video. I gotta get back to work.